Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. How's your week been? I hope you've had a great week and that you've been absolutely crushing your daily goals. And that is what matters, right? Going closer and closer to your goals on a daily basis is what will help you achieve them in and make them a reality. So in this video, I bring to you an interesting topic which is called happy discipline. And what is actually happy discipline? It's something that is happy because it is scientific, right? And it's something that actually works, right? So it actually produces results. So that is what I call happy discipline because when you see that it's actually working, then it's no longer uh, stress and work, but it's something that will give you happiness because you will see results. But the other type of discipline is like you try to tie yourself up and force yourself to do something and you feel that it's not working. So that is the opposite of happy discipline and none of us want that. So in this video, let me bring you two interesting scientific techniques which will help you achieve happy discipline in your life. And before I start the video, something that I've been trying to improve uh, of late has been to develop the way I speak because I got feedback that sometimes I tend to be monotonous. So let me know in the comments below whether you feel that I speak in a monotonous way or whether I'm improving. So again, uh, I'm also excited to observe how I will be improving in the next uh, weeks and months ahead. So coming back to the video and again, remember, it's all about improvement. It's all about progressing steadily and consistently towards your goals to have a better life. So let's get back to the video. Happy discipline, two techniques for you, which I promise you will work. And that's the important, uh, that's the beauty thing. That's what's beautiful about this, right? So let's get back to happy discipline. And remember to comment below, I subscribed if you have not yet subscribed to this channel and I will personally reply to you. All right. So subscribing and commenting will help, will motivate me and it will help me to make more such content for you. So if you like it, please do comment and subscribe. All right. So let's get back. The first technique which I have for you is something called mental contrast. And this is something which uh, is, has been developed by a psychologist whose name is Gabriele Tingen, okay? So let me just give you the gist of it in a very practical manner. So what is mental contrast all about? Now again, as the word suggests, it's about contrast, right? So you have contrast over here. So it's about contrast between two things. And what are those two things? The, con the, the two things which we need to contrast are our present reality. So that's number one. And the desired future or what, what is it actually that you want to achieve, right? So over here you have present reality and over here you have the desired future. Now, when you contrast between these two, like when you mentally contrast, which means that you imagine it in your mind, right? So when you mentally contrast between the present reality and the desired future, it will help you develop the required discipline to move from the present reality towards the desired future. Now, let me explain this in a few words to make it very, very practical and, uh, and let me help you understand it thoroughly so that you can right away start implementing this in your life. So let's take a few examples of what we mean with desired future over here. Now, it could be that covering all the topics for the exam that you're preparing for, that could be a desired future. Another desired future could be writing mock exams for the exam that you are preparing or you're studying for. Another desired future could be achieving consistently your daily goals. That could be a desired future. Another desired future could be easily and accurately solving questions when you're trying to solve them, right? So these are all desired futures, okay? Now, the other aspect that we have over here is your present reality. Now, again, let's take a few examples to understand this. Some of the things that we could have over here is like obstacles. Okay, today's obstacles. Okay, so let's take a few examples. One thing could be that you're not very thorough with what the syllabus is for the exam that you're preparing for. Maybe you don't know exactly what are the questions that could come 
within a topic okay another present reality which is a obstacle of today could be that your preparation is not structured you're just preparing something one day something else the other day and it's not fitting into a story it's not uh, structured it's not cohesive right so that could be another reality of today which is an obstacle right another obstacle of today which could be the present reality is probably that you're planning to wake up early and prepare for exa your exams to study but you're not able to uh, do that right so that could be another obstacle of today now another obstacle of today which could be the present reality is that maybe you don't have the right material you don't know whether what you're preparing for is a good material is it the right material you're not very much aware of it right so these could be your present reality again you are the best person who knows your present reality the best and you are the best person who knows your desired future now when you contrast these two mentally okay when you clearly think about these two in your mind what happens is that you develop the clarity to go from problem to solution so the desired solution is the desired future is the solution right this is what you want to do in your life right and the present reality is the problem or where you're getting stuck it's about today's obstacles now when you clearly think about these two you will develop sufficient motivation and discipline to bridge this gap because you will have clarity and as i've discussed in another video many times procrastination happens because our mind is not very clear we have goals that are too too large um, to actually believe that it's possible to achieve okay and we lack the clarity or don't have a clear action plan from going from today to where we want to be tomorrow but when we do this practice of mentally contrasting between the desired future and the present reality we will be able to develop the discipline and it's going to be happy discipline because it will work because we'll we'll get that discipline and motivation because of the clarity that this brings about and that will actually help you develop an a plan that is actually feasible and that trust in your plan based on this technique the the trust that the plan is actually feasible will help you implement it and that's the and success always breeds success right so this technique is something that can up your game so do try it out now that's technique number 1 right which we just now discussed which is mental contrast now you need to club this with one more powerful technique which is called implementation intentions now this technique was developed by another psychologist angela duckworth okay so she wrote a famous book on grit so if you want you can go and check it out now let's quickly try to understand implementation intentions now she did some research and it's an interesting paper if you want you can read it but let's put it over here in very simple words to help you understand it and let's make it very very practical so that you can right away try it out and when you see results you will be amazed and you will be able to implement this more and more in your exams and in your um, pursuit of your goals so implementation intention to understand this let's talk about two groups okay and again she also did this in her research so one group just has the thought let me crack the gre or let me crack the gmat or let me crack any exam which i am preparing for and this group of people so this represents one group of people they just think about let me crack this exam and then they start preparing for the exam so that's group number 1 okay and the other group which is group number 2 over here thinks about possible obstacles that could come that could come to actually achieve this goal and then once they have thought about these possible obstacles they create if then statements to tackle these obstacles now what do i mean with that let's take an example let's say you're a person who is part of group number 2 over here this is group number 1 so you're a person who's part of group number 2 and let's say you're a working professional and many days after you're back from office you're tired but you have some goals you want to prepare for the exam that is your dream okay so a possible if then statement that this person could create is if i feel tired after office i will walk around a bit take a shower 
and start studying okay so this is an if then statement so you have an if over here okay and if i feel tired after office and then you can have a then over here then i will walk around a bit take a shower and start studying so you have an if over here and you have a then over here so if the obstacle occurs then i will do this i will do x y z so group number two has created if then statements after imagining and uh, before the obstacle occur right before the obstacle occurs ahead of time they have thought about possible obstacles and they have prepared if then statements now angela duckworth found in her study that the second group over here completed 60 percentage more practice questions than the first group imagine what this would do to your preparation let's say you're a person preparing for the gre or the gmat or for some exam how much better would you be off if you could do 60 percentage more practice questions and this is the scientific key for it think about possible obstacles that could happen and then write down if then statements about ways in which you will tackle those obstacles and you will see a significant improvement in your preparation now quick side note over here comment below any if then statement that comes to your mind because always learning in open is another thing right you you have people who build in open products now a similar thing is learning in open so when you write down below a comment about an if then statement that you are able to come up with this will actually push you forward and it will help you overcome laziness to just accumulate these interesting techniques but not put them into practice so that is a trap to overcome that trap just take a few minutes right away and think about possible obstacles create an if then statement you have a sample model over here and comment it below this will take you to the next level this is my guarantee to you because this is actually a scientific principle remember happy discipline something that actually works okay so these are the two techniques which i have for you and scientists call this the mcii technique when you compare when you um, when you combine both of these which is mental contrasting with implementation intentions right so this is something which is a scientific way to improve your discipline and if you can do this you will be able to achieve your dream goals if you're a person who's been suffering with lack of discipline try to put this into practice now again quickly summarizing mc is contrasting between the present reality and the desired goal or the desired future okay so that will build clarity into your mind and you will be able to come up with an actionable actionable plan and with the discipline to actually put it into practice because of this mental exercise and the second uh, part over here ii stands for implementation intentions so think about in advance about possible obstacles and then once you have identified them prepare if then statements okay you will see that you will be in the second group if you do this and you have a high probability to do 60 percentage more you putting 60 percentage more structured effort than the group one which just thought about the result which is cracking the gre or the gmat or any other exam which you are preparing for i hope you like this video and all the best to your goals i'm sure if you put in these best practices, you will be able to take your preparation to the next level. Remember, there is no need to reinvent the wheel. If there is something out there that actually works, which is scientific, do incorporate it into your preparation or at least experiment it and refine it. Create your own version of it and see improving see improvement in your life right so it's it's again all about improving it's it's be, it's about being better than you were yesterday all the best and see you soon